So Texas doesn't have air conditioning in almost 75% of its prisons. And a few years ago, inmates at one prison sued, saying that the temperatures they have to suffer through during the summer constitute as cruel and unusual punishment. They point to very often that there have been 23 heat-related deaths in Texas prisons since 1998 and hundreds more illnesses that have been documented. So they're asking for these changes within the prison system and the state has been reluctant to add air conditioning, which is the main factor that's tying this all together because it's, it, it's expensive to add air conditioning. So it does get above 100 degrees during the summer and TDCJ, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, has some measures in place to try to combat the heat without air conditioning the unit. So, Inmates are all allowed a personal fan um, at their bed. They are allowed access to respite areas, which are places in the prison that do have air conditioning, like the barber shop or the chapel, and they're allowed to request to go there at any time. They have cool down showers, they have unlimited access to ice water. So what's going on now is there's this lawsuit that they're trying to determine who exactly needs air conditioning. Last month, in an emergency hearing that only applies to this summer, a judge said that Texas was deliberately indifferent to the harm that they're causing. These inmates, by allowing them to sit in these hot prisons, specifically the inmates who have some sort of heat sensitivity, and that includes the elderly, the obese, and people with medical conditions like heart problems. So what Texas did in this ruling was decide to move those about a thousand prisoners from this hot prison to other air conditioned prisons in the state while the rest of this lawsuit is ongoing. In the meantime, most Texas prisons remain on air conditioned, but as this court kind of works through this one problem and decides if it wants to determine air conditioning is needed for all inmates or for certain inmates or for no inmates, um, this is a temporary solution that's in place right now.